I heard you sampling the um, 50 in the Chop. Yeah, I remade that beat sound by sound from scratch. It was hard. It's fuck to do. I was just really using my ear, trying to tune in, see what um, instruments I could identify. I like doing shit like that because it helps you um, kind of break down beats and use it to your advantage on your own shit, like, and other beats you use. Because I took a lot of shit from making 50 in the Chop, like remaking. That was actually the first beat I've ever remade, like tried to remake, and that motherfucker was like on point. It was dead on. Dead on, yeah. <laughs> I was impressed with my damn self. Like, it got to the point where I was like making sure I didn't miss a sound as I was making it. And I straight didn't. Like, yeah. did that. That was on point. How you ever like try to remake like a uh, sample, an uh, old beat, like sort of like the Al Green? Uh... Damn right. But I ain't do sampling until later in line because I remember I had a friend. Uh, shit, he go by Perry Rich now. CFTB Perry. He used to love sample beats, and he, he used to like G Herbo type beats, and I was like, damn, I cannot make that shit. Like, I didn't like using loops either of samples, so it was like, I wanted to eventually step into that because I knew that's what my friend like. So over time, like around that time, that's when I started dipping and dabbing, and I wasn't that good, but it got better and better each time I did it over months, just over months of just practicing. So yeah, I, I fuck with samples, they cool. Yeah. I just really like the, the, um, the what is it? The intimacy of like really diving in and making something from scratch though. Because right, you ain't gonna find that sound nowhere else. Yeah, like we talked about the last interview with the song Ounces. With yeah, Bobby. that was from scratch. Ounces is still from scratch. Any, I ain't gonna lie, about 80% of my beats are from scratch. I don't like using this. I ain't gonna say there's nothing wrong with it because as long as the shit end up sounding good in the end, that's all that matters. Like Kanye West is huge from mixing matching sounds together. Uh -huh. He said, I don't even know how to play a single instrument, but I can put these fucking sounds together. That's how I feel about myself. But I just studied the game enough to the point where I could damn near do any sound. Just keep it versatile. I really don't like listening to too much of other music simply because I don't want to like drown out my thoughts and where I want to take it. But I do use influences. Gotcha. Who would you say your influences would be? My favorite producer of all time is DP on the beat. And he actually DM'd me back one day. And I got a newfound respect for Cash Money AP because I got to work with him personally. Cause I used to think his beats was cool on YouTube and everything, but mm -hmm. after seeing him like firsthand, like do what he do, and I actually got to make a couple beats with him, it was cool. Like I got a new respect for him for how he work. Cause he made me believe in myself, like in myself that I could actually do this shit. He's like, don't overthink it. You don't yeah. overthink nothing when it comes to making beats. Just do it. Yeah, cause I know how it is when you first starting off and that shit just be like. I don't know where the fuck this shit going, but you just gotta stick with it. And it's gonna Listen be to the beat. And then you gonna make that one. <laughs> and when you make that one, all you gotta tell yourself, like, shit, if I can make that one now, shit, I can make that one 50 other times. And I done did it before. Like, even shit I don't like, it ended up being that one because the rapper like it. And now it's a hard ass song.